Are the classes harder in high school? What should I wear? Are the teachers me? How do I stay confident? Are my friends going to change? What is in your backpack? How do I find my classes? How do you tell your crush that you like them? Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys high school advice I wish I knew before going into high school. So I just finished my sophomore year of high school and so next year I'm going to be a junior. So I now have two years of high school experience. It's so weird that I'm going to be junior. Like I... I feel like I'm like should be a freshman again, but obviously I'm not you guys loved my middle school advice video that I did when I was going into freshman year So I thought I would do like a similar type video for high schoolers But to be honest this advice actually works for like pretty much any grade These are just things that I learned in high school that I definitely wish I knew sooner I'm so blessed to have people in my life like my mom and my sister who have given me advice and I recognize that not everyone has that So today I'm so excited to be your big sister and just to let you guys know I will be sharing my biggest tip at the end of the video so make sure to watch till the end. I have multiple different categories, everything from school, friends, relationships. Before we start, I think it's about 90% of you guys or more that are not subscribed who watch my videos. So it would mean so much if you could subscribe. I mean, it's free and it really would make my day. So let's get into the advice. The first category is classes. And the first question is, are the classes harder in high school than they are in middle school? The short answer is yes, but don't freak out. If you think about it, every single year that you have moved up a grade, your work has gotten harder. To me, there wasn't like some drastic change it was just like the same as going from like seventh grade to eighth grade so eighth grade to ninth grade it's like the exact same level of difference uh, I don't think that going into freshman year was like way harder than going from seventh to eighth So you can totally handle it. I found the classes challenging, but not like overwhelmingly difficult It all depends on the person you might find some classes super easy. You might find some Hello. My advice is just to pay attention. Make sure you are actually being mindful when the teacher is speaking and also make sure that you write super specific notes because notes will help you so much. Even if you think you're writing down too much, trust me, you might need it later. So it's better to have like too many notes than not enough. Just be super specific with due dates, how many words you need, etc. I would also say take classes that challenge you but aren't overwhelming and won't like completely take over your schedule because obviously you do want to expand your knowledge and you want to grow as a person. So I definitely recommend you make sure to challenge yourself but also don't let it like take over your schedule like if something is going to cause you a bunch of stress throughout the school year I would not recommend it it's better to get like an A in like an easier class than fail an AP class and you also don't want to stress yourself out and have something negatively affect your mental health the next question is do my freshman year grades count I would definitely say that your freshman year grades count some people think like it's okay colleges only look at like junior and senior year I definitely think that colleges will look at your freshman year grades so just don't completely like slack off or anything Thing. Some people will just be like a woo party and like not pay attention to their grades and that can actually be harmful when you are one day in four years sending in applications to colleges. Again, don't stress yourself out, but also make sure to not like ruin your future. The next question is how do I avoid burnout? Burnout is super common. I know I totally experienced it in the past few years of high school, but I think I've kind of got it down now. For starters, I think it's important to remember that your grades do not define you. If you put all of your self-worth in getting a good grade or you're seeking academic validation, I think that that can definitely just become an obsession and kind of take over your life. And so of course, try your best. Of course, try to get an A, but don't let it completely take over your life and don't let it define you. I'm sorry, my cat is yelling right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Next question is, how do I find my classes? First off, I recommend you tour the school ahead of time, preferably like a week before and with your schedule because if you have your schedule- Bless you. If you have your schedule, you will know where to go and you can kind of like make a little map and your school might have an orientation too where they might give you a little tour. And as for getting used to the campus, you'll probably be used to it after like a week or two. Next question is, are the teachers mean? I have not had any mean teachers, but of course every school is different. I just recommend no matter who your teacher is, just being nice and respectful and yeah trying your best <laughs> the next question is how do you organize everything listen up because your girl loves organization first off i recommend getting a planner where you can just write down your schedule your club schedules your academic First off, I recommend you get a planner where you can just write everything down. If you don't have a planner, you can just use like the notes in your phone or like the calendar in your phone. The next question is, what was your favorite subject? My personal favorite subject was English and it always has been. I just love English. But I also really liked history last year. So I would say English and history. The next question is, what is in your backpack? I actually might be doing a what's in my backpack video in like a month or two. So you guys should definitely subscribe because I have more summer and school content coming your way. I also have a what's in your backpack video from last year that I'm actually super happy 
happy with how it came out so I definitely think you guys should watch it. The next question is what should I wear? I just recommend wearing something that you feel confident and comfortable in. I honestly just wear like cute sweatpants and sweatshirts. I think you can't go wrong with like a cute like sweat set if you just want to be comfortable or you can just go with like jeans and a t-shirt. I'll put some pictures on the screen for inspiration. Now I'm just gonna go rapid fire through a bunch of tips for school. First one is to maintain a good sleep schedule. Don't just stay up all night watching TV or binge watching YouTube or something unless of course it's my video. <laughs> I'm kidding but I'm not, but make sure you get your sleep. Next one is to have a set morning routine and night routine. This will just help you get ready faster in the morning and limit distractions so that you will actually be on time. Number three, set out your outfit the day before. This is a life-changing tip. I've been doing this for like years of my life. Just like leave it on your dresser or on a chair or something and then in the morning you don't have to pick out an outfit. If you make your own lunch, then make sure to make it the night before and you can store it in the fridge and then in the morning all you have to do is just like grab it out of the fridge and leave. I don't know how anyone would make a lunch the morning of. Like I could never handle that my cat is requesting services the next tip is to have a lunch buddy or like a friend group that you can eat lunch with every single day. It's just super fun and you can like meet up at like a certain spot or like a certain table and just have lunch together. The next tip is if you just want like some quiet time or you want to read, go to the library because no one's going to be loud in there and you can spend time studying or just taking time to recharge. And the last tip is to not over schedule yourself. If you are over scheduling your days with friends, activities, sports, it's going to get so stressful so fast, especially in the beginning. Don't like sign up for too many things at a time. You can always sign up for things later. In the first like couple weeks I would definitely say just take time to get used to being a high school student the next category is friends first question is are my friends going to change in a lot of cases friendships actually do change in high school in my middle school advice video I said that like my friendships didn't change at all during middle school but they actually have quite a bit during high school I think most people's friendships change during high school because you might find new interests or meet new people so it's completely normal for people to just drift apart and that's completely okay and in a lot of high schools it'll be like multiple middle schools going to the same high school so there's a possibility of meeting like a completely new friend group from a different school. The next question is how do I meet new friends? One idea is to go to a lot of social events held by your school like sports games, dances, and fundraisers. That way you're meeting people who go to your school. You could also join like a sports team or clubs. So that's actually a really good idea because you are meeting people who have similar interests as you and it gives you a really good starting point to talk to people. For example, if you join the soccer team or something, you could go up to someone and be like, hey, how long have you been doing soccer? I've been doing it this long and boom, instant best friends. <laughs> I know it's scary, but you have to have the mindset that if you go up to someone and kind of introduce yourself, if they wanna be your friend, that's great. And if they don't, there are gonna be a million more opportunities and you should never let fear of failure stop you from trying. And also to make a friend, you have to be a friend. Too often we're thinking about like, oh no, it's coming up to me. Why don't we ask ourselves why we're not going up to anybody? That is a mindset that I've been trying to have recently. Instead of thinking, why is no one going up to me? It's why have I not gone up to anyone else? I also recommend if you're starting out and you're just trying to like talk to somebody, giving them a genuine compliment is great. Just be like, oh my goodness, I love your necklace or I love your shirt. Your outfit's so cute. Your hair looks so good. Something like that. I think compliments go a long way, especially when you're trying to talk to new people. The next category is drama, rumors, and gossiping. Let's talk about it. First up. Don't get into drama. Don't be a person who starts drama. Drama is not productive. It's not gonna make you a better person. It really accomplishes absolutely nothing when you think about it. So just don't start drama and don't get into drama. And if you happen to get wrapped up in drama, just be the bigger person. Whatever the problem is, it's just in high school and you're gonna look back on it one day and be like, that was so small. And if you let it destroy friendships or something like that, then that is not good. And it's just a waste of time. So apologize if you have something to actually apologize for. Be the bigger person, forgive others and be loving. As for rumors and gossiping, just stay away. Gossiping is terrible. Once again, it's not productive and it's not nice. And rumors, most of the time they're not true. And even if they are true, most people don't want it being spread. Like it's a rumor for a reason. Someone is trying to keep that private for a reason. And whatever you do, don't be the one to spread gossip. That can actually come back to bite you and you can be known as a gossip. And then people won't feel comfortable around you and won't open up to you. The next category is bullying and mean girls. First up, I know none of you guys are bullies, but in case there is one person watching, watching this just just don't bully people. If you or someone you know is getting bullied, you definitely should tell a trusted adult. And if someone's like not necessarily bullying you, but just kind of being rude or being catty, just remember that you are like literally so beautiful. You are made by God. You are absolutely gorgeous. Um, Just take a look in the mirror and do this. 
okay? Because you're stunning and I do not want to hear any negative self-talk. Do not listen to the haters because honestly, most of the time haters will pick on other people because they're trying to distract from their own insecurities. I just recommend you just like brush it off. I do actually end up praying for haters because like I said, usually they are struggling with something internally. The next category is crushes and dating. A lot of people start dating in high school, so I thought this would be an important category to talk about. First off, I've never dated anybody, nor do I plan to until I'm out of high school, honestly. I'm just in my girl boss era, okay? However, I've had countless FaceTime calls with my friends, helping them with their boy problems, and I think I've actually done pretty good, so listen up. First question is, when should I start dating? And the answer to this is when you are ready. And what I mean by ready is not when you're just looking for a cute guy or looking for a boyfriend, but when you yourself are completely confident and completely content in being single. If you're just looking for any relationship, you can definitely find one, but only quality relationships are actually worth your time. If you are looking to someone else to tell you that you're beautiful, you're smart, and you're relying on them to give you confidence, then if you ever broke up or something, you would be in a really bad place because you've been relying on them to remind you of your worth. And if you're content with yourself before you're in a relationship, then one day if you did break up, you can say, I was happy when I was single before and I can be happy when I'm single again. I also recommend writing down a literal list of every single quality that you want and not just like blue eyes, brown hair, but respectfulness, loyalty, kindness, etc. Then one day if you ever like somebody, you can run through that list and make sure that they actually have all of these qualities. You can also do this and like add in little Bible verses for each quality. I think that is such a cute idea and you can like pray over it. Whether you're a girl or a guy, you should never ever settle for somebody who disrespects you or is toxic to your mental health. That was quite the rant, but circling back on the question of when should I get in a relationship, you should also make sure that it's okay with your parents and actually have their permission. The next question is, do high school relationships last? Some actually can. I know we've all seen like high school sweethearts and maybe we know a couple, but I think in most cases they actually don't. In high school, everyone's still maturing and you actually have like a long way to go. I can't believe some people date in like freshman year because I look at myself in freshman year and I'm like, that is a little tiny little cute baby. The next question is, how do you tell your crush that you like them? I've never done this before. I cannot tell you guys how to do this because I have zero experience. I guess it just really depends on you. Like if you're a super bold person, you can totally do that. I'm not a very bold person, so I would not do that. So this is my personal advice when it comes to high school relationships. Don't have a boyfriend just to have a boyfriend. Only ever get into a relationship if you can say, I can see myself actually like marrying this person and spending the rest of my life with them. If it's just a cute guy, that's not worth it. There's no pressure yet. I feel like there's so much emphasis in like movies and stuff on having a high school relationship. And honestly, I am thriving in my high school years and I'm extremely single. I would personally just enjoy being a teenager. If God wants something to happen, it will happen. And don't think that because you're single or because you don't like anybody or no one likes you that you're less than anybody else because you're definitely not. And you will never have to force something if it's from God. So just keep that in mind. I'm not saying it's bad to have a relationship in high school. I'm just saying that it's definitely not needed. The next category is confidence. I think high school is a time where a lot of people's confidence just goes up and down. I personally have been like super secure with myself my entire life. However, in middle school and high school, I have had times where I've gone up and down. So I think me being like the most confident kid growing up and still experiencing that just kind of goes to show you that like almost everybody struggles with their confidence during this time. My advice is this, you should never change the way you look or act just to be perceived well by others. Another tip is to wear what you feel confident in. Don't just wear something because it's trendy. Don't just wear something because everyone else is wearing it. When I have a cute outfit on, I feel like 10 times better about myself. Along with that, don't compare yourself, whether that's people online or people in your school. Everybody is like glowing up at their own rate. As long as you are like putting in the effort to take care of yourself and treating yourself with kindness and respect because you should treat yourself like someone you love, that's gonna be 10 times more productive than comparing yourself to other people. The next tip I have is to only ever build yourself up. If you are constantly saying things to yourself, just like, oh, my hair's this, my nose is this, my eyes are this, that is not good for your self-confidence. And let me tell you, girl, those are lies. You are beautiful just the way you are. Don't look to find your confidence in your looks, in your personality, in your grades, in your sports, because you can only ever find true self-confidence and true self-worth in who God says you are. Words, whether said by yourself or others, only have power if you make the choice to listen to their words rather than God's words. And last but not least for the confidence category, no one is looking at you because they are all so focused on themselves. Like I said, most people in high school are like insecure or struggling with their confidence. So if everyone else is thinking about their hair, about their outfit, etc. They are not paying attention to you. They are not judging you. They are not thinking that you're this or that. And also you are like your own worst critic. No one else notices the things you notice about yourself. I was actually on a call with my friend the other day and she said something about a feature on her face. And I was like literally so confused because I never ever thought it was bad in my life. And she was telling me like about how it was like one of her biggest insecurities. And I was like, 
Like I promise I never would have thought of that. That just goes to show you that like we pick ourselves apart too much and over criticize ourselves. And last but not least, fake confidence until you make it. One time I was going into like a social event thing and I was feeling like super nervous. I literally was like having kind of like an anxiety panic attack. And then I just told myself, I was like, wait a second, wait a second. I have no one to impress, but God. So like if other people judge me, that's totally fine. And then I went in there and I faked my confidence and I literally did so well that day. I literally, I always go back to that day because I'm like, Honestly. if you let your insecurities rule over you, you will just end up like standing in a corner by yourself just not having a good time. So go up to other people and be like, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. My name is Lulu. Say your own name, not mine. The next category is a random category. The first question is, what was my favorite part of high school so far? I personally just kind of like being in high school. Like I like being high school aged. I feel like it's really, really fun to just like be a teenager. You get to go through all the fun stuff. Like for me, you know, wisdom teeth removal. That's been a highlight. I think just enjoying being a teenager is like the best thing. I know some days are better than others. You're only gonna be a teenager once. So just make sure you enjoy it. And last but not least, the big tip of this video, my biggest tip for anyone going into high school is this listen close live so many of us are so wrapped up in our screens or in our brains overthinking things thinking about what people are saying what people are thinking but if we truly just tried to be present and actually enjoyed the time that we're living in even if it's not the best time of your life just enjoying it and trying to grow through it and just enjoying living life you're only going to be in high school once so i just recommend living every single second of it and enjoying it as much as you can i seriously feel like i was just a freshman yet i'm going to be a senior the year after this one it literally just goes by so fast so i definitely recommend you guys just try to enjoy every single minute of it and make the best out of your high school experience well i just ranted for an hour leave me a comment down below telling me when you guys are going back to school i love you guys with my whole heart i hope you have an amazing day keep smiling and i'll see you in my next video bye